Hello and welcome to the Big Business Battles once again. In a week which has seen the Satyam fiasco reach a new level altogether, deceit, controversy. We've also seen huge global recognition for something which we've always been known for, Indian cinema. Slumdog Millionaires, to be technically correct, may not be an Indian film, but has got huge recognition at the Golden Globe. The question we are asking though, is the only way to sell Bollywood in Hollywood is by glamorizing poverty? Or is it uh, much more to do with the movie business and the way movies are distributed, showcased, packaged and marketed abroad? Is it about talent, content or is it about the way they are showcased all across the world? Joining us is a very special panel to tell us what does it uh, need to make it into a global success? Javed Akhtar needs no recognition, lyricist, poet, film and script writer. Thanks so much for joining us. Rakesh Mehra from the film industry, noted filmmaker, director, Rangde Basanti, the best shot ever in the global arena. Nandini from Time Out, you're the film critic, and Anurag Kashyap, another film director and writer in their own right. Javed Sab, let me start by asking you. I know you've not seen the movie Slumdog Millionaire, but everybody's talking about it. The bigger question though is that, is that the only way to sell the India story right now for the Western audience? Because suddenly you don't see the Indian affluence being made into a movie and sold abroad. If it is, it's about the NRI population. It's not about Western audiences. Well, I'll say yes and no. First of all, I can't talk about the film because as you have said yourself, I have not seen the film. But, uh, uh, I mean, in Hollywood even today, uh, a big film producer is called a movie Mughal. That has also come from India. But the fact remains that if you look at uh, the Indian society in a realistic manner, you just can't uh, brush the party under the carpet. As a matter of fact, we should be bothered that why party is not shown in our films. That's the problem. I mean, we are, at the moment, we are living in a city which is supposed to be the financial capital of India, and almost 60% of people live either in slums or on the pavement. But where are they in Hindi cinema? Nowhere. But would it sell? Do you think the audiences will lap that it up in a, in, a, in a multiplex like you this? You can't make a documentary about uh, uh, people who are underprivileged and make it a super hit film uh, commercially. The story, the narrative has to be interesting, whether it is about a palace or about a hut or about pavement. It is the story, how the story is told. So let us not be so defensive. The fact remains that if you don't like people showing poverty, don't be against them. Try to eradicate poverty. So one should not sit and complain, one should not suddenly criticize because it's about Indian poverty. Rakesh Mehra, there is an issue about what are we doing about it? Do producers line up? We were talking just a short while ago, you said you cannot think of the business revenue model first before you come up with a great idea. It's all about a great idea then. But you need a British packaging, a British production house to showcase it better to the audience, which if recognizes it, then we call ourselves being recognized globally as well. Yeah, uh like you were talking, the very essence of this show, I was saying it's a very important show and at the right time. Uh, the society is at a brink of change. This whole socio-political situation is changing in the, film, uh, in, the, in the country. And that should reflect in the movies now. All this while, for many a years, India was a kind of a closed economy. Uh, it's not that there was no dearth of intellect. And why, why is it that we don't uh, tell a good story for the Indian audience like that? Uh, there are many a reasons. It's not such a simple question and a simple answer. I think uh, for many a years, uh, now what we need to do is spread our filmmaking and get the talent from smaller towns in India and spread uh, just like a cricket team. You see, we have a captain from Ranchi. We have a, one of the best opening batsmen in the world from Ballabgarh. Why aren't our filmmakers and writers from Ranchi and Ballabgarh they, there are a few and there are a lot of them are making attempts. So once we recognize the, this whole human talent, as we call the human asset of India, the whole thing about the population which was working against us and now it is working for us globally and we have the youngest working uh, human capital in the world today. If we hand over and empower them and we build an infrastructure, we build film courses around the universities. If so Aligarh Muslim University has a film course, that talent will come stories out. from there. My question though is, you said about the current socio-economic setting. Anurag Kashyap, nothing has changed about poverty in India. Actually it has, uh, although despite the good statistics about the poverty line and the number of people living above it or below it, that concept has not changed. And yet, from the days of Pothir Panchali, which was one form of poverty, to Slumdog Millionaire, the bigger question is, Indian audiences response to all these things have changed. Today Indian audiences will also lap up Slumdog Millionaire because it has got global recognition. 
See, lots of things are changing. You know, for a beginning, I'll say we have started shooting our film in our own country.